about 42 inch table that quick. Thanks for visiting our sawmill. Hey folks, welcome to Hobby Hardwood. We are going to saw up a somewhat old and ugly log. This is an ambrosia maple. It's got some spalt in it. It's not a good log. We'll see if I can't do some Hobby Hardwood sawing on it. Probably gonna do these in live edge slabs. Let everything warm up. We're at a temperature now. I missed my tow board. I'm just gonna hold it up with my chain turner and log clamp. Nice thing about a hydraulic mill is I can use both chain turner and the log clamp to hold this whole end of the log up. So I'm already not liking this. I was gonna do full live edge. Beautiful board right here. Got this cook on it. Although some people like selling that, I don't wanna sell anything like that's got a hook. It may hang in my planer, or worse yet, it may hang a customer's leg. Anytime you got a big log, you really gotta make sure you're not gonna throw it over the backstop. A little bit of a balancing act. The main thing is you don't wanna drop it real hard either. Kinda of ease it down like that. Sawing, you always want to try to hit that E flat note where you don't have to straight saw done. Here I went right to the edge of the hardwood. Got a major defect right here. I've carved this off. I got some nice slabs there. And now I'm gonna start taking drops on these. I'm gonna this wood right here, this whole slab is gonna be a waste. That doesn't mean I can't get that one and that one. One of the important parts as you can see where I stayed out of that big pith crack down there. So it's only going this far into the slab. And you consider I always cut my slab about six inches over long. That piece comes out, this is gonna be a perfect. Yeah, that's gorgeous. Almost as pretty as me. About 42 inch table that quick. Your mill's set up right. And if you're going at a good rate of speed, almost no sawdust. If you're packing sawdust, there's a problem. <laughs> Give it a flip. Ooh, that's a big one. People don't realize how heavy a green slab is. I once saw one of these slabs get dropped on a guy's finger. It's something you don't want to do. His finger exploded like a ketchup, uh, a package of ketchup. Quite, quite the sight. He was less than thrilled. I wasn't too happy either. But no harm, no foul. He still had some extra fingers left when it was over with. That'd be a pretty cool video though, safety video. What happens when you drop a slab on your hand? <laughs> Nothing good. Some of you may have wondered, did I actually measure that out to make sure I hit it perfectly? No, I just guessed. I got lucky again. So this is gonna be a perfect dog board. The lowest board on the mill is called a dog board because a lot of times it gets sawn with the stress in the log that looks like a dog bone. Bottom line is I'll have it cut to right there. All these boards will be good. This goes in the garbage. I got one question I'm gonna get y'all. I could tell you the answer. I'm not gonna do it because you guys are very smart. Almost always, the last thing you wanna do is put the center pith board in a stack of wood, especially on top where everybody can see it. Especially when it's as 
heavy as lead. So now I'm giving a lot of hints. So here is the question of the day. Why on earth did Robert Milton at Hobby Hardwood put this board right here on top of this stack and get a hernia doing it? Y'all uh, y'all put some comments below. See who gets it. I'm sure a lot of you will. It's not rocket science. It's just, I don't know. It's just good practice. Every rule is made to be broken. In this case, saving the pith board is a rule that needs to be broken. And it's for not one reason. There's two reasons why I did it. If you get one reason, you're doing good. If you get both reasons why I put this guy on top and saved him, um, then, well, I don't know. Let's see who gets it. If the first one that does it, I will. I will pin your comment to the top of the video so you will know and everybody else will know that you got the answer first. Anyway, this is Robert Milton, Hobby Hardwood, signing off. See y'all next time. Have a good day.